I think you can absolutely expect more activities, uh, whether it's bilateral or even minilateral, uh, that actually continues to show how important it is to achieve freedom of navigation and of overflight in these international waters. But in addition to that, Australia is already doing so much in the maritime space with the Philippines. The Enhanced Maritime Cooperation, MOU, that you mentioned, it absolutely talks about how we need to further strengthen our maritime security cooperation. Mm -hmm. But what's really exciting is that it also talks about other types of cooperation in the maritime domain. For example, environmental protection. Mm. These things are just as important when, he, when we think about the rules-based order. It's not always about defence and security, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but also mm -hmm. protection of our environment. So to give you some very practical examples of what we are doing, Australian government is actually working with the Philippine government to help you measure plastic pollutions mm. in waters. Mm. And mm. it's a very practical methodology that the best of minds in this space from Australia has brought to the Philippines and training not only government officials, but NGOs, you know, LGUs of course, mm. but also academia, mm. uh, so that people, critical mass mm. within the Philippines have the know-how on how to build the baseline mm -hmm. of plastic pollutions and then determine policies that will allow you to measure your progress. That's one example. Another example is actually around coral reef restoration. Mm -hmm. One of my favourite projects mm -hmm. we're doing here, I call it a cor IVF mm -hmm. for corals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is a method by which they actually, literally, mm -hmm. capture when they naturally spawn and artificially inseminate mm -hmm. for better growth of corals. And the results that we've achieved in this is phenomenal. And these things are happening around the Palawan Island and so forth. So they, these are some practical things we're doing in the maritime. Are we going to see more marine well? scientists for one? Um, Absolutely. Over in the West Philippine Sea, give us some data perhaps? on destruction mm. that's being that's caused. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And so to help with that, we also have our Australian Institute for Marine Science that has been helping the Philippine scientists do, if you like, just the mapping mm -hmm. of the coral reefs under sea mm -hmm. Google Maps. Mm -hmm.